Bayes' theorem is arguably one of the most critical concepts in probability. It is critical for machine learning algorithms such as Naive Bayes, as well as the assessment and validation of machine learning algorithms in general. It is also heavily pertinent to statistics, medicine, and the sciences in general. In this example, we are going to study the relationship between homicidal behavior and video games, or the lack thereof. Bayes' theorem can be thought of as flipping a conditional probability. We have the probability of B given A, but what we're interested in is the probability of A given B. As we will see, these are two very different questions and we should not conflate them. To do this flip, we will also need the probability of A and the probability of B. We plug those three pieces of information together and that will give us probability A given B. Let's say there was a study that found that the probability of being a gamer given someone is homicidal is 0.85. So that is not the same as the probability of being homicidal given you're a gamer. And that's the real question we are interested in. You should not conflate these two conditional probabilities as being equal. To reverse the direction of this probability, we will need a few more pieces of information. Doing some industry research, I found that approximately 0.19 or 19% of the population plays violent video games in the United States. According to the FBI, about 0.01% of the population is homicidal. Now, of course, this only are the reported homicides or the known homicides, but let's assume this is significant. Now we have all three pieces of information to calculate the probability of being homicidal given you're a gamer. So let's get started. We plug in those three values into Bayes' theorem in the formulation and we will find that this evaluates to 0.0004. So a 0.04% likelihood that you are homicidal given you are a gamer. Of course, I could spin this and say gamers are four times more likely to be homicidal, but in reality, we're comparing very small numbers to very small numbers. So this is actually a very small number and very different than the 85% claim we talked about earlier. Let's dissect visually why. Let's say I have this circle representing 100,000 population. Of that population, 19,000 are gamers, which is 0.19 of the population. You may not see it, but there is a very tiny part of the population representing the homicidal people. Let's zoom into it and take a look. This subset of the population is super tiny. It's only 10 homicidal people, which lines up with our FBI statistics, 0.0001. Of those 10 people, only eight or nine are gamers, and the remaining one or two do not play games. So we have to beg the question, are we going to go after those 19,000 people and take away their PlayStations? Or should we conclude that there must be something else that makes people homicidal besides violent video games? If anything, this shows how easily we get duped by percentages, and yes, this is also a cause for a lot of bias problems we encounter in statistics and machine learning. 